this seems like a useful thing. Is this like, have this been used in engines or are people building cars with wheels made of this instead? Like, is this just a toy or is there a, is there a practical use for this? I see that, uh, that is the worst question to ask a mathematician. You go, this is wonderful, it's lovely. I mean, you're showing us, you know, an insight into the way the universe works and, and beauty in its most simple, rigorous form. But is it useful? Uh, and no, not that I've come across. I have come across no practical application of this whatsoever. And in fact, the earliest mention I've come across this is 1966 in a uh, physics, American Journal of Physics and Things. Um, if, if anyone has an earlier reference to these, let me know. And a guy called David Singmaster did a lot of very interesting work in about 1990 on these. And these brass discs I actually stole off an engineer, a guy called Hugh Hunt, who's an a engineer at Cambridge University. And so he showed me, uh, he's the f person who originally showed me these discs, and then I, and then I stole his. Uh, and but there's been some interesting research. Oh, the in-between cases, by the way, are, get very complicated. That's why there are all sorts of strange vectors drawn on these. That's for trying to work out that, because all I've shown is it definitely works in these two cases. I have not convinced you that in between, no funny business is going on. Whereas uh, other people uh, smarter than myself have gone through and shown that in the in-between bits, it's all still fine, it doesn't go up and down. So it's been very thoroughly tested, we know it works perfectly, but uh, no one has found a use for it yet other than as a cool toy. But I'm trying to pick a nice, neat way through, and I happen to know from experience what I want to do to tidy this up is to multiply both sides by 1 plus root 2. And the reason I'm going to do that is because just, you know, I know that if I take this side and multiply it by that, if I've got 1 plus root 2 times 1 minus root 2, something magical happens. So if I do uh, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times that is minus root 2, root 2 times 1 is plus root 2, and then root 2, positive root 2 times negative root 2 is going to be uh, negative 2. Have I got all those right? That's 1, that's 1, that's minus 2 times d. I've dropped a negative 1 somewhere along the way. Where has that gone? That's root 2, that's gone up there, that's over there. That's gone over there, that's gone over there. That's fine, then I'll come out the other side. Oh, okay, let's just soldier on and see what happens. That's, that simplifies down to negative d, which is not great. I'll have to get positive d, but I'm prepared to tolerate a negative for now. It means somewhere along the line I've left a negative in where I thought I had... Well, no, it means an odd number of times I have left a negative in somewhere where I didn't want a negative. But anyway, we're not going to give up. So we're going to take the other side, and just so we have a bit of space, we'll pop it down here. And so we're going to multiply that by that as well, and, and we'll see what comes out. Root 2 minus 2 times 1 plus root 2 are right there, so we're going to put this in here. So that's root 2 times 1 gives us our root 2. Root 2 times plus root 2 is going to be plus 2. Negative 2 times 1 is going to be minus 2, so they've cancelled out, that's lovely. And then negative 2 times uh, that is going to be subtract 2 lots of root 2 times r. So they cancel out, that's 1 minus 2 of those, that equals negative root 2 times r, and so that means that negative d equals that, and so now I can just get that annoying negative and chuck it away. So that's showing us that the distance equals root 2 times the radius. And so all of this has shown us that the wobbling disks work only when those two centers are root 2 times the radius of the disks apart. And I think that is absolutely lovely, and I, I'm mean this in a, a, just a, a straightforward manner that I picked possibly the most straightforward path. I mean, I still had a minor, minus issue, but because of maths, it worked itself out. There are far more complicated ways through this terrain, but no matter what you do, no matter what algebra you're, you're dancing around with, as long as you're careful, it always, everything drops out at the very end. It's so lovely. No matter what you do, everything settles and cancels out, and you always end up with root 2 times the radius.